Former USC quarterback JT Daniels waiting to get cleared by Georgia after having a torn ACL has indeed been cleared. They have a huge game this weekend. Paul, I watched them against Arkansas over the weekend. Dewan Mathis, the young kid, did nothing. Stetson Bennett, who might have the most SEC name of all time, actually came in and performed pretty well. But what does this mean? JT Daniels now in the mix practicing with a huge spot Saturday. Yeah, I, I don't think this is really a difficult decision for, for Kirby Smart. Uh, I, I think he has to start Daniels. Uh, Stetson Bennett uh, a month ago was not on anyone's radar because Jamie Newman, remember the uh, grad transfer from Wake Forest, was supposed to be the starter. So I, I think this is really simple. Uh, I think the Georgia overreaction is a little bit uh, about as crazy as the debate I just got through hearing between Jay and Key. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, will, I will settle the tie here in a minute. But uh, that, that is, uh, this guy has experience, as Keyshawn knows. Uh, he started for a while at USC. He lost his job, but, but mm -hmm. I think he, he will be the starter. He may not be the starter, excuse me, but he will, he will finish the game Saturday night in Athens. Uh, Paul, LSU obviously took a beat down, not necessarily a beat down, but they lost a game to Mississippi State in K.J. Costello, over 600 yards in the air, I don't know, seven touchdowns or whatever it was. Kind of crazy with Mike Leach running this system. Is this system going to run through the SEC pretty good? Because I remember when Hal Mummy was the coach at Kentucky, he ran the same thing, and it didn't go well. Yeah, I think it will have its moments, and, and certainly there, there are some reasons why they were able to win Saturday in Baton Rouge. Uh, but I think ultimately it sounds like football 101 key, but you know, Leach is going to have to have a defense that, that's able to stop teams like Alabama uh, and Auburn and, and other schools that, that are going to be significantly better than Mississippi State. Mississippi State's a middle-of-the-pack team, but they have a good, they have a good uh, roster uh, that was left to them by Moorhead last year who got fired after a ball game. And, and I think Leach has just done the most of it, uh, has done the best of it. By, by the way, by bringing Costello, though, he was able to put uh, his imprint on the system. But I think that was really as much about LSU. And, and guys, you, you talk about the NFL all the time here. 14 starters gone, uh, an opt-out this year in Jamar Chase, they're the best wide receiver in football who decided not to play. And then Derek Stingley, who's one of the best cornerbacks in the game, got sick the night before. I think that's really why LSU went down at home. Paul, how likely is it that the U is finally back? Uh, the good news about my answer is uh, we, we'll, we'll know in about a week and a half, uh, Jay, because uh, yeah, I, I sat there like the rest of the world a couple of years ago, and we all put on the turnover chain after the U beat Notre Dame, and they immediately collapsed. And I don't think that's going to happen this year. I think the Clemson game is as interesting of, uh, as regular season ACC game as we have had in four or five years. The Notre Dame game uh, will be in November at South Bend, but th this is really good for the ACC to have the U back. And, of course, we said goodbye to Florida State in the process the other day. I don't know if they'll ever be back. And, by the way, I, I know we're, I don't want – before we get short on time here, guys, uh, <laughs> I, I, was I was listening to the conversation between Jay and Key, and you know how I feel about you, Key. I think uh, you, you, oh, I feel like no, you, you, you know, we're friends. Paul, and, just by you starting truth, that Paul. off already tells me tell where you're going. Tell the truth, Paul. Thank you. But I, I am going. I am going. I've got to tell you, your argument was really weak. Uh, and Jay is Jay wins this debate because if you don't beat somebody, it's not a rivalry. And you know, you can, this is a this was a manufactured game, and and the media made this into a. a uh, an epic battle that was not an epic battle. And you know, I, I've used this line about the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry. rivalry. It, it was a rivalry. It's not anymore because Harbaugh gets his, his clock cleaned every year. A rivalry has to be something that, that, that is in the moment. You just can't say, well, this, you know, they, they've been playing since 1895. Uh, it's the <laughs> oldest rivalry. Well, I, I don't think it, do, it matters if, if one team doesn't show up every year. Oh, okay. I I, Thank I, you, Paul. I, Thank you, you for talking some reason into Michon. Well, anyway, I'm not going to listen to that. Oklahoma took one on the chin against Kansas State. <laughs> are they still oh, pretty live? You see, I tried to deflect Paul. He goes right back to college football. Are they he don't want to hear it when he's Keyshawn, wrong, Paul. Keyshawn, save that for tonight's debate in Cleveland. I mean, this is a, <laughs> this is a conversation here. This is not a deflection. 
I'm not deflecting. I'm just trying to move the show along. And I want to talk about Oklahoma taking one on the chin okay. against Kansas State. And are they are their playoff hopes gone now? Uh, they're certainly in, in, on life support. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, in a shortened season, which we have, uh, you, can, you just can't blow a game like that. And, and I think what really hurts Oklahoma is, is the fact that you know, they're in the playoff every year and they get destroyed in the playoff every year. And those committee members have to think about that. I know their job is to pick the four best teams, but uh, with, with Oklahoma, you're, you're, you're getting a pretender now because uh, they have nowhere to go. I mean, they have one, one legitimate game left, maybe two, uh, Oklahoma State and Texas. Uh, and, and I don't know if that's going to be enough because Texas, even in winning the other day uh, at Texas Tech, looked pretty bad uh, in the process. Who's a clear-cut favorite in the SEC right now? Is it Alabama or is it Florida? I think it's Alabama. Uh, and, you know, Florida looked really good. I mean, their defense was, was not, not particularly stout, but that was against Lane Kiffin. Uh, but, but their offense is fantastic with Kyle Trask. And, and I, I think I, I'm not ruling out Georgia. The good, the good thing about Georgia, you know, with the game this week uh, against Auburn and then uh, two and a half weeks from now at Alabama, there won't be too much debate whether Georgia is, is in this thing or not. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.